The ice is ready. The teams are ready. Official set to drop the puck. Here we go. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro set to bring you all this hockey ultimate team matchup. A sight every hockey fan can appreciate. It's a clean sheet of ice and we are about to get underway. Puck is dropped and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. Take it along the wall by Marowa. Belarus will play it at center. Team Germany's got a hold of it against the wall. Right in the slot. Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Huge steal in his own end. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Team Belarus is across the blue line. Jostling for the puck and it's knocked away. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Here's a shot. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Good save by Jordan Bennington. When he was called up from his fourth year in the American Hockey League, he virtually saved the Blues on their way to the playoffs. Gets in front of it. They're still shoving long after the whistle's gone here. Somebody wants to go. Besser's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Here's a short pass to Parisi, and he coughs it up with the pass. Oh, Ray, I'm sure he's going to be shaking his head over that one. Yeah, you just don't get many of them. And when you do get a chance, you want to put it on target. Sutter's on the attack in the offensive zone. Here's a blast. Oh, what a glove save! Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Scores! Johnny Goudreau! He didn't have much room up over the glove, but as soon as the goalie dropped into the butterfly, there was enough for him to put it into the top bin. Germany's on the board first, leading 1-0. This was hard work to get on the board here. Neither team giving up a lot. But now we got one. Maybe it'll open up. Scored by number 13. Sends the pass over. Assisted by number 10, Artemi Canary. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, a clutch save! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Scores! What a shot! Just 20 seconds apart, that's a pair of goals. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. Germany's boasting a comfortable 2-0 lead. Ray, what are you seeing down at ice level? Domination, James. They've got the puck the whole time. Eventually, you're going to crack the other goalie, and they have a second time. Team Germany's gained possession along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Bjorkstrand. second period coming up including a very special guest who will join us up here in the broadcast booth and i can promise you you don't want to miss it as both teams head to their respective rooms we'll go recharge ourselves and get ready for a big second period Treat to be joined here in the broadcast booth, the one, the only hip hop icon, Snoop Dogg. How are you, sir? Hey, 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 baby, let me put these headphones on. 
headphones on so I can hear what I'm saying. He is ready to roll. Oh, crystal clear. Can you hear what I'm saying, baby? Loud and clear, sir. What a pleasure. Man, pleasure's all mine. You know, you, you resonate so much from a pop culture standpoint. Have you noticed the growth in the game of hockey? Definitely. I've noticed that the game of hockey is starting to expand. It's going into different neighborhoods, and there's different people that's playing different nationalities. So hockey is doing a great job of, of diversifying its portfolio. Uh, I know you're a busy man, but thanks for doing this. Do you want to hang out and watch the rest of the period with us? If you don't mind, I don't mind. I would love it. Well, let's do it, dear. Let's, I'm fanboying out let's here. Let's kick it. Let's go, Jay. All right. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 2-0 is where we sit. Bergeron's won it in their own end. And now he passes up to Sutter. And now he moves it to Parisi. Oh, what a stop! Puck scooped up by Sutter. And the puck leaves the zone. Nice pass. Badnin's got the puck in his own zone. And now it's grabbed by Edler. It's a two-on-one. Stays with it. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves it around along the half wall. Looks to set up at the point now. And that's blocked away. Vatnin's carrying it ahead. Sends it across. Belarus looks to move the puck from their own end. Takes a blast. What a stop. Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. Sutter's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. One guy throws the challenge down. You don't have to take it especially these days. Kopitar's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that one's turned away. Team Belarus has got the puck along the boards. There's a collision. Team Germany's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Panarin's got it across the line. Takes a shot, shuts him down. Oh, no! Exactly. Couldn't say it any better myself. What a goal. Yes, sir. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. to set a race here for a face-off. They probably don't want this period to end. No, nah, this is fun time. Point zone. Everybody's getting in on the act now. Kopitar's won the draw here in the neutral zone. And now it's over to Goudreau. Great stick work with the steal. Shots the puck away. Belarus gets the puck near the boards. Our many thanks to our special guest to join us way up here in the broadcast booth. All right, let's take a little breather. Third period action. Let's see what it's all about in moments. 3 nothing is where things sit after 40 minutes of play. Don't forget to check out our top 10 moments in hockey history. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation to what has been a very one-sided affair. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Team Germany's able to see the finish line now here into the third period with a comfortable lead. Just don't start giving away chances. Team Germany's got the puck along the wall. Oh, he goes between the legs! Stopped by the blocker. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. And that one stopped. And that one stole at center ice. Moves it quickly over to Marowa. Feeds it on over to Besser. Puts it on net. Denied by the blocker. Save made by the goalie. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. 
Here's a shot. He scores. Now it's only a two-goal game. Also, it gets progressively better for them, but they need another one. They got to throw a quick back-to-back -back goal up here. I actually thought he was going to do it, James. He played so well. I thought the shutout was there for the taking. He just couldn't quite close the deal. Team Belarus has narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Red. Yeah, James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. Nearing the final minute of the third. With possession along the wall. In need of a goal, the extra attacker's out on the ice. Makes the save! Goalie on the bench, and the extra attacker's out for a much-needed goal. You practice this, you're ready for it, and it starts with the face-off. Bergeron's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. Belarus has it in the open ice. On the attack along the boards. Team Germany's got a hold of it along the wall. Into the offensive end now. And he regains control of the puck. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Puck moved over to Parisi. Team Belarus has got the puck in their own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Wrists one, and that's a paddling from the goaltender. Really good puck control by the goalie as he gets it out of danger. Moves it to Goudreau. Rocked on the play. Knocked away. It is all over. They peppered the other goaltender, had more shots on goal, and in the end, even in a close game, that becomes part of the difference. Well, at some point in time, you take enough opportunities, you're bound to convert the theory, right? Well, that's, that's the Basic goal. logic, anyway. Eventually, they get the puck into the net enough times to win. And that'll do it for Ray Perl. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.